Hi, and welcome to this episode of Virtually Perfect Teaching. I'm Nick Luhmann, and I am the Educationist. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at th my three favorite, all-time favorite extensions that will be empowering your students. Now, what I mean by empowering your students is that they will take over of documenting their learning. Not necessarily self-assessment, that comes through practice that you will then be able to do after they take um, an active role in documenting their very own learning. Now, this is something that I would call an ICT skills for life. Now, today what I'm going to show you is how this happens if you are a Chromebook or a laptop desktop um, in, a, in that sort of an environment. Um, so for iPads and Android tablets, there is a different episode coming up or even a live stream for that. For this is mainly targeted towards Chrome and laptop users. Um, so the three main tools that we're going to be going through today are Nimbus Screenshot, which is the first icon here on top of me, uh, then Loom, which is a screen recording um, tool that students love using, and then we're going to look at everyone's favorite ePortfolio, Seesaw. And after that, We'll hope everyone um, gets what they need it's to have those skills to document their own learning. The very first thing that you want to do is you want to navigate to the Chrome Google Web Store. Now, um, this works on various browsers. So if you're uh, on a Microsoft um, platform and you have to use Edge, these will work for you. And uh, also majority of these will work on a Firefox or they have these same extensions on a Firefox. So uh, I'm just going to be using um, Google Chrome here um, so that you will be able to um, see how this integrates with um, Google Workspace in environment. Now, what's really interesting right now here is that I am actually going to be using um, something that is um, a view that is not my teacher view. I am doing this now on the student view. And this is something that you as a teacher, whenever you are thinking of sharing things, sharing your screen with students, is to understand that in many cases, the teacher view is different from the student view. Now, students, especially younger students, will struggle if you do not know this difference. And you will struggle because you don't understand why don't they get it. Now, the very first tool that I want to use uh, is the Nimbus screenshot tool, which you can see here. So it is Nimbus a screenshot and screen video recorder. We click on that and go add to Chrome, add extension. So yes, you have to do these steps. It's going to download the extension and then you will have um, a few moments and it's going to then come up and pop up and say, Nimbus screenshots and screen re video recorder added to your um, Chrome. And then it comes welcome and sign in. So here now I am able to click on this puzzle and I want to pin my extension so that my extension is always visible for me. Nimbus Screenshot is an excellent tool whenever you want students to document their learning. Let me show you an example. Here I am in Kids A to Z. I'm going into reading 
and I'm going into my reading room. I'm going to start reading a book. And my teacher has told me that I need to either use my word book to collect words or my drawing tools to highlight words that are new to me. And how do I document this, that I've highlighted new words? Well, I can now go to Nimbus and take visible part of page. Right off the bat, it has given me an area that I can now work with and add into my document pictures that I can share now back with my classmates or with my teacher. So this is by far the easiest way to collect picture evidence. Now what you can do is that when you go um, and uh, create a free account, you can also upload to Google Drive, but I am not doing that for one good reason, and that is I want the student to actually download, learn to download and upload so that they take this responsibility of uh, managing their files and managing uh, what do they have. So right now I have have my um, file here, my screenshot is now downloaded for me. And then I click done. And now I am done. I have successfully edited my first evidence part. Now, as I go through, I can also take a picture of my reward. Again, I'm using visible part. It just gives me my full picture and I've downloaded, done. And I can close it now once I've downloaded. If I go into my comprehension, I answer my questions and once I've done that, I can again take a screenshot. So this is a great way for us teachers to create opportunities for our students to record their learning. My second tool that I want you to know about is Loom. Loom for Chrome is a screen recorder. Now, this is something where students are able to record themselves And if you are a Google school, or if you are Apple school, or if you are an Outlook uh, school, then you can use those accounts too. So now I have loads of videos already, but let me show how Goldilocks and other, this is now what I want to do. I want to read a book and I want my teacher to listen to me read. I click on, oops, ah. Uh, right now, this is something that I would change anyway. Um, I would do always a screen only, unless you want uh, your students to be able, to, you want to see your students, then of course. And now start recording. What you have to teach to your students is how you're going to be recording that screen that application only or that Chrome tab. All of these are valid waves. You got three seconds before it starts. And now I can start reading. You see the 
time is ticking by, you can move this control box wherever you want so that it's not in a way when you are recording. Uh, all controls in that area work properly and you can this way read through the book. And once you are done, you click finish recording. Loom allows stores everything on the cloud. You can copy video link and share just the direct link. This is good for teachers when you want to record how many students have watched your videos. For students, I teach them to download. This downloads the video and then you can share it on your platform, any platform that you want. Now, one of them would be, of course, Seesaw. So let me show you. Here I am in my journal and I want to upload my video that I just read. I also want to upload the picture that I just took. Should be in my downloads. Yes. In Seesaw, I can also use the microphone tool. to explain my picture. And this way you are moving from documenting your learning into evidencing your learning. You are bringing that um, ability to create something more. You are bringing that ability to reflect and self-assess. So this way, you are now teaching your students to be able to really document their learning by using screenshots and screen recordings on with Google extensions or Google Chrome extensions. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you from The Educationist. Please like, comment and subscribe if you find these kinds of videos helpful and want to see um, something that I have not touched up yet, leave that in the comments and I will make a video for you. Thank you and I see you in the next one.